Yes my people, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, we're going to be going through a roll of film which I've recently got developed. Now, this is the first time I've ever used film as part of my photography. This is the first time I've even got film developed. But being primarily a digital photographer, this was quite fun to kind of, you know, change the medium up a bit, switch things up as I go about my photo shoots. So the roll of film that I used, I actually purchased back in 2018. Now, this roll of film, when I purchased it, it was expired by I believe six months. So now shooting it back in 2020, this is super, super, super expired film. Now I purchased this roll of film. I think it was three rolls for 4.99, which is crazy cheap. And the film camera I actually used was a film camera my sister thrifted for £2.50, which is this film camera here, which is a Kodak. 835. So this roll of film I started to shoot from this August. Um, I believe it was the middle of the month up until middle of October. So a good two months I've shot this one roll of film. Now I genuinely can't remember half the stuff that's on there. I do remember I have Reading Festival content on there which I'm quite excited to see and I know I've got a few um, photos from meetups with friends and dinner parties and stuff like that. So we're going to go through these now together. It's going to be quite fun looking at these for the first time i genuinely don't know what to expect but we're going to go through these together and see what kind of photos have come out okay so i have the photos up here there should be 27 exposures so 27 photos in this selection here um this was the camera that i was shooting with if you didn't see it earlier and i believe the film stock i was shooting on was the fuji superior i believe it's a green and white canister um, so not none of the popular film stocks that everyone shoots with like Kodak Gold But we're gonna run through these photos now quickly and see what's up Okay, so first up we have I believe it's all of the Reading content So this is Nico B If you don't know who Nico B is, he is a UK rapper He has a very unique and unorthodox style uh, This was right outside of the press tent at Reading um, He was super chill, super cool guy I think at the time Drake had just reposted his um, freestyle on his page so he was on like a massive buzz. Uh, he was only with like two of his cameramen, but we were just chopping it up for like five minutes. Um, I asked him if I can grab a couple photos. He said, cool. So this is one of the photos I took on my film camera. I think at this point there was a crazy sunset as well. That's why you can see at the top, um, like the yellow and sort of like red colors in the clouds. So next we have Morrison and DJ Ironic. Now these guys were super chill, super cool. Again, this was at the one extra tent this time. And um, there was a bunch of artists that we wanted to shoot at. So there was another photographer I was um, rolling with and we decided to like stay here for a while. Uh, Morrison and DJ Ironic were super cool. Uh, we ended up taking photos of them, but then they wanted us to take photos using their phones. So ended up being like a two, three minute photo shoot as they were walking to the stage to perform. Uh, next again, back of the one extra tent, this is M24. This is another dope UK rapper. Um, I don't think he was performing, but he was walking to the little like VIP area they had next to the stage, which was serving Nando's and stuff like that. But again, um, he just wanted like a quick photo. So the other photographer that I was with asked him and I just kind of jumped in on the side, taking the photos. But yeah, this one came up pretty cool as well. I'm, I'm liking this one. Okay, again, one extra stage. Um, this is Denz and Renz. I think this is Renz. He's a DJ, but as a pair, they do like YouTube reaction videos. Um, again, this guy had just come off stage, so he was in a super rush, but he stopped for like a quick photo. But I think I noticed as well, like on the camera, the uh, the viewfinder on this is very small. So I think a lot of these aren't gonna be composed in the middle how I would normally like it. But I wasn't really looking for any like crazy composed photos with the film camera. But yeah, these have come out pretty smooth so far. This is Polo G. I think he was running on stage at this point. That's why he's to the to the um, left of the f um, of the frame. I think this was just like a quick one as I was holding my main camera and the film camera in one hand. As you can see here, um, of more of like a wide wide shot of the stage. Um, there was a crazy sunset as well, which was really really nice. And this was main stage west, I believe. There was like two main stages, and this was about half seven at night. So yeah, this photo came out pretty cool. I mean, there was no flash, I'm assuming at this point. So this is just straight from the camera using the um, natural light, which you see from the stage. But yeah, this one came out all right. Now we're in like, the next location. Um, I believe this was the beginning of September now. So this was a shoot with my friend and one of her artists. 
She works in the industry. Um, She's working with an artist called BCK. He has a song on TikTok that has gone really viral. Um, it samples that guy that goes very good, very nice. So this was his first ever performance. I believe this was in Chigwell, I think. So East London. Um, and this was his like first ever performance, first ever show. So I've gone down to kind of document that experience for him. So as you can see here, just a lot of like behind the scenes, um, natural colors. None of these have been edited by the way. These are just straight from the camera. Both of these guys are like 15, 16, mad young. And his boy that is in the, the um, pale blue hoodie and black jeans, he traveled down from Manchester, which was super cool. And he was really supporting his boy. Okay, so this was a shot as he was kind of coming onto the stage. I mean, like this wasn't no massive festival. It was kind of like a country fair sort of vibe. So like the stage wasn't anything huge. But yeah, this was him getting ready to come on stage. Um, I think he was performing like three songs. So yeah, as you can see here, this is him on stage. Um, I think the lighting had changed a bit. Like the sun was very temperamental that day, or let's just say like the weather. So at some points it was raining, but yeah, here's just a few shots of him performing on stage. But I don't know what's happened here. It looks like the film roll has bled into each other. So it looks like he's taken the previous shot and the next shot and taken it into one, which looks like a pretty cool effect to be honest. Okay, so this is the next set of photos. So this is taken in a studio in Hackney. This is a lady that I'm working with currently at the moment and I'm working with her as she makes music, but she's also an artist manager. So I'm working with her artist also. So yeah, this was taken in the studio in Hackney. I believe this is RD's studio, which was pretty cool. As you can see, there's like a plaque on the wall. Um, but yeah, this lady here, she makes a lot of like dance music, um, early 90s sort of house music. And yeah, these photos were very much of a vibe. Um, the guy in the yellow is um, Leo. He's a singer songwriter, plays guitar as well. And the guy on the right, I can't remember his name, but he was from Scotland and he traveled all the way down for like these three days in the studio. But he's a dope producer and engineer. To the next set of photos. So these are my friends. We've gone out on a night out and um, okay, here's me. We're gonna <laughs> skip past these ones. But um, yeah, these are just my friends. We've gone on the night out. The guy on the far right wearing the bags, he plays bass guitar. So he had a show in um, Shoreditch, Brick Lane, and we've just gone to support. And then afterwards, I've had my camera taking some shots. And again, the people, some of the people you saw in the previous shot, they hosted a dinner party. So we've gone around, there's about six of us. And again, I'm just taking pictures on my camera. Um, some of, like the flash has gone off on some of them and some of it that haven't, but I think the ones where the flash has gone off, they've come out pretty clean to be honest. So yeah, just very chill vibes, you know, just kind of being very discreet with the camera, but the flash was real bright. Like I'm not gonna lie, like the flash on this was blinding everyone, but I like how they've come out. Even when I've not edited the photos, the colors are quite natural, which I really, really like. And like the tones of them are quite smooth as well. Here's just a shot of London. Now at this point, I thought I had five more exposures because I know on the film roll it said I had 36, I think it was. And I think at this point I was on 29, 30. So I was approaching the end of it, but as soon as I pressed the shutter on this photo, the film roll started to roll back in. And then that was the end of it really. So yeah, I think these photos have come out pretty smooth. I like how they've come out and I feel like I'll be shooting film again, I believe. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I think I might start doing this kind of stuff again. It was quite fun shooting one roll of film over the course of two months. So I might do it again shooting over the course of one month, two months, three months. So we're almost at 1000 subscribers on this channel, which I'm super grateful for. If you haven't subscribed, please give it a subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace.